Okay, man, so we're back with another character trailer for Bleach Rebirth the Souls, and this time it's gonna be Chad. I was expecting to get Udahara, but Chad is fine too, which means we might get Orihime next, and it seems like we are for sure getting weekly trailers, that's what it seems like, and it seems like it's gonna be every Monday morning, man, so I'm gonna try to be here for y'all so I can react to these each time they come out. So, you know, we're gonna watch this, break it down. With Chad, I'm expecting to see a lot of melee moves. We might even maybe see a new map. I'm curious what his soundtrack's gonna sound like, you know, since the soundtracks we've been seeing from the other characters have been pretty fitting of who they are, so maybe we might get a little bit of Hispanic feel with my man Chad man. Today's anime question is gonna be who is the most useful of Ichigo's three friends man? Orihime, Chad, or Uryu man? Let me know in the comments who you felt like was the most useful to Ichigo throughout the show. But let's go ahead and hop into this trailer man. I'm excited. I'm curious to see what they're gonna do. As you know we're gonna break it down after we watch it. So let's go ahead and see what we got man. What we got? What we got man? The man Chad. Okay. Gentle Giant. I couldn't see what that other one said. Brazo de Retro. Powerful fighter with deadly fists. He's a gentle giant. Okay. I will keep my promise. Ooh, what we got? Hey man, that box is for aggression. Ooh, okay. Ooh, Alerta. Ooh, he teleporting and hit you with the What is this? What is that? What's his awakening? I doubt he's gonna use the left arm. Yeah. I can't lose Shield this form? I'll end this. Oh, he does open the left arm. Oh, he does have both, doesn't it? It looks like he is using both. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to break that down. Interesting. I don't, Chad didn't get this until he was in Wake Up Mundo. Okay, so we hop into some things to break some things down. Some key things I gotta talk about first, and you actually will see it in the description. It seems like Chad, whenever you have him before he's awakened, he's only using his right arm to fight for most of his moves. He's only fighting with one arm. And it says actually when he awakens, he's gonna be able to use his second arm. He'll be able to fight better because he's using both of his arms. But I thought it was pretty interesting that they actually have him using his transformation that he used when he was in Waco Mundo. If you remember, he used this when he was fighting with the Espada. So this is kind of curious. I mean, I'm guessing this Chad is going to cover up up until the Wake of Mundo arc, and maybe we won't even get a second Chad. If we do get a second one, maybe it'll be the full bring, or maybe just Thousand Year Blood War. But it's pretty interesting that they're going this far with this character. So we look at the first one, it's going to be his signature move Aggression. Aggression. A powerful blow can be charged, unleashing significant damage regardless of the opponent's defense. The closer the opponent is, the more powerful this attack is. And what I'll notice is pretty interesting with this one is you can charge it, and you can also move. As you can see, Chad actually dodges to the right whenever he uses this move before he lets it off. I'm kind of curious how long you can hold this and if you can actually move any attacks or if you once you charge this you have to let it go eventually after holding it or if you can maybe even do some extra things the next move is going to be the spiritual pressure move one alerta and this one is an attack and the charge speed of chad's signature move are increased for a period so you even see in the move in the uh, gameplay trailer that he's moving quicker once he has this activated and this is also supposed to allow him to activate his special action a lot quicker pretty simple pretty straight to the point and then the spiritual pressure move two is going to be the contra attack I'm I'm pretty sure maybe this is counterattack, and it releases an uppercut that can catch an opponent attack and increase the uppercut's power dramatically. So it looks like the part where they're saying they can catch an opponent's attack is that part where he does like the little shoulder bump forward. Whereas if you do this whenever somebody's trying to attack you, it should increase the damage of the actual uppercut that follows after. And then we already touched on this in the beginning, but also the awakening, which allows Chad basically Chad's left arm becomes the Brazo Ezerdo del Diablo and can now fight with both arms, increasing his battle capabilities. And we see a little bit of his moves is very interesting. I'm gonna check this out a little bit more. And with this final thing, basically just a breakdown of him, possible to change the situation with a single blow, earnest yet powerful signature move in action. So it seems like they're really putting a lot of focus into Chad's signature move. But let's go ahead and rewatch this trailer a little bit slowed down and try to break these things down. All right, man. So powerful fighter with deadly fizz. He is a gentle giant with a fervent vow hidden behind his quietness. All right, man. So now we're gonna see his basic moves, and you should see that he's only using his right arm to attack, man. Which I think, you know, pretty, I guess, pretty interesting that, yeah, so you see he's, boom, using the boxing technique with his right arm. And we can see here the charge, but he also dodges over, boom. So he dodges the attack, and then he releases it. And this damage can go up, you know, when you're awakened. His spiritual pressure move one, you see, we don't actually see him do the charge attack, but we see him moving quicker and being able to actually close the distance on Uryu, but we don't see him use the charge. And then the spiritual pressure, so you hear right here, the dodge forward, and then he comes with the uppercut. So it's a two-part move. You're going to do that, jar, that dodge forward. And then you're gonna come with that. 
and then who we see the awakening and it seems like this is Uryu's thing maybe everybody has a little bit of something because it's kind of similar to Ichigo's how he teleports behind you after he slashes you Uryu teleported behind you and shot you so it's pretty interesting and then we can see this is how he transforms to his awakening we see his arm changes into the shield form I kind of wonder if he's going to have increased defense maybe whenever he has this maybe there's going to be some extra stats that comes with this but we're going to actually see him fighting with both of his arms now and, but we only see him use his left arm. Well, no, we actually do see him use the right. And we see, yeah, yeah, this is what the moves are looking like when he's awakened, which isn't too bad. And then we also, of course, we get a little bit of a clip of maybe his soul damaging attack, the one that maybe takes off more than one bar. And that is pretty much all we're seeing with Chad. But I mean, this animation looks pretty solid. And hey, man, we're probably going to be getting Orihime next. But those are all the things with Chad. Like I said, it seems like we're going to be getting weekly trailers. So y'all look forward to these breakdowns. Let me know how I actually feel about this character. I feel like Chad might have been one of the more, you know, straightforward, straight to the point characters. Besides maybe Yodaichi. But let me know how y'all feel about him. Who's looking the best to y'all once again. Now that we got Chad now. We got a few characters looking now. We got Ichigo. We have Rukia. We have Byakuya. We have Chad. And we also have Yodaichi, man. So let me know in the comments how y'all feel about this. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn the bell, do all those nice things. And I'm going to see y'all next week whenever we have the next character reveal. We up.